Okay, so you join me in my BMW E46. I'm currently in Johannesburg. Um, okay, sorry about that. For those of you who know, I'm actually from Cape Town, but I took a nice long road trip. Um, went to Durban first, and now I'm in Joburg. Uh, but I am leaving today. It's 6.15. I'm going to leave now to Cape Town. According to the GPS, it's like uh, 1,340 something kilometers. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be another long one. Got my cooler box there. Got a lot of snacks, a lot of junk in the back, more junk in the boot. So here we go. Yes, fill in the smoke, really fill in this coke. Will in the smoke, put the chill in the cold. Killers of no got no feelings involved It's the beginning and the ending of whoever you are Pretending we get you smacked in the south you Can't come around here and be running your mouth We show you what we okay, are Okay, so I've done um, 126k so far The drive is going well Averaging 6.6 .6 liters per 100 k's Which is excellent um, The only small issue I'm having is that the fact that the heat gauge Is staying a bit too low I'm guessing my thermostat is damaged, um, so yeah, need to replace that. Uh, it should have been by half by now. But yeah, otherwise, nice, easy drive. Got the cruise control on and just chilling. Uh, just past the 200 kilometer mark, doing 6.4 liters per 100 k's, which is excellent. Position um, imprecise. Searching for satellites. It's probably because my speed is quite low. Position found. Some road work going on. Yeah, nothing much to see here. Just boring old South Africa. I say mirror, mirror, tell me who the real is, who the clearest, who is fearless, who can bear us with no much trust. I am tired of society, casting a majority. All they care about is money and the authority. Y'all disgust me, just like flacker. Satisfaction for a moment, what happens after? Catch this metaphor, it will help you, dog. I don't want credit, boy, even though I'm credible. It's amazing though, how we learn and we grow So much pain in this world, but we move me steady slow This just a message bro, it ain't for fame so Catch us way before it moves on, and change its clothes Cause I'll be repping for the south side Only going straight to the top, only kneel when you crown me This is a public service. Okay, so we are 567 kilometers into the journey I still didn't have a break yet so I'm probably gonna stop at the next fuel station as you can see, I'm doing 6.1 liters per 100 k's and we have half a tank left. So, um, I think this car can actually get a thousand k's on a tank on the freeway um, if you keep in um, a fairly low speed of 110. If you're going to drive more, then obviously I don't think you're going to get a thousand k's. Uh, and I'm not going to attempt to get a thousand k's because fuel stations out here is a bit... Um, few and far between so I don't want to take any chances so probably at the next fuel station I'll fuel up get something to eat take a walk just the usual and by the way can you just see those clouds how good they look they almost look fake wow I like that which is excellent and now I'm just gonna enter the server station or garage whatever you guys call it oh and we got a nice TV out on a trailer there also
Okay, so I just had a look at the GPS. I got another 7.5 hours. Um, so it should be okay. Uh, I don't need to fill up. The car will actually make it to Beaufort West, where I can fill up there. But while I'm here, might as well just fill it up. Um, I'm sure it'll take me home. Um, yeah, seven and a half hours away. That's about 750 Ks, 800 Ks. So that one tank should be enough. So let's go. Didn't kill too many bugs. Not too bad. Okay, so I just filled up. It took 563 Rand and we did 538 with that, uh, with that fuel. So a little less than one Rand per kilometer, which is quite good. And here the fuel is also more expensive. So I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, let's finish up our journey. Okay, so uh, we just cruise in towards Beaufort West. Uh, it did start raining now. I really hope it's raining in Cape Town because I'm sure most of you know we do really need the rain. Uh, dam levels are very, very low. So yeah, kind of nice to see some rain, but I do hope it's raining in Cape Town as well. It still looks beautiful. Covered over 800 k's now. Just another five hours more, and I'll be home. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's just a tire. But yeah, this is where we are. We're close to Beaufort West. I think maybe like 30 minutes or so. We should be there. And yeah, roads are fairly decent. They're quite smooth, straight, no cops. But yeah, I'm going to take it easy again, just because. Alright, see you in Beaufort West. kilometers um, the guys are doing some road works now so just got a small delay here but yeah we're going Okay, so finally passing through Beaufort West, um, I still got like three quarters of a tank which is more than enough to get me home. Uh, I should use maybe just half a tank. So yeah, let's just drive through the small town and uh, head to Cape Town.
updates. Uh, I've done 1,246 kilometers so far, uh, averaging 6.3, and I have one huge problem. So I'm only about two hours away from home. Um, and as you can see, the car is driving, but <laughs> my clutch just broke now. Uh, I was going for overtake, so I wanted to drop a few gears and uh, bang, just went to the floor and then it didn't select gears after that. I managed to get it into fifth, so I'm gonna try and nurse it home now. Um, and yeah, hopefully there's no damage to the gearbox or anything like that. Um, I put on the GPS avoid tolls, so let's hope that I can get it home because it's gonna be very difficult for me to change gears. In fact, I can't change gears. Uh, the only way I can think of is to rev the engine and try and rev match it and then, you know, uh, select the gear like that. That's how I managed to get it into fifth. Uh, so hopefully I can do that. Otherwise, I'll have to call somebody to tow me. So yeah, almost home. Kind of let me down there. But let's see if I can nurse it home. Um, okay, so I've done uh, 1,355 kilometers now. Uh, the clutch is still buggered up, uh, but I am managing just to nurse it home. Uh, I'm currently changing gears with no clutch, uh, which is very difficult and you can also damage the box like that. So what I do is I uh, try to rev match it. Usually it is about 3,000 to 3,500 RPM and then you slot the gear in. Uh, it might grind just a little bit, but it does go in. Uh, obviously you shouldn't do that uh, for fun. But, I mean, I'm desperate now, I, I kind of have to do it, or else somebody else uh, needs to come pick me up. Um, but anyway, actually quite close to home now, it's 51 kilometers. Um, we are avoiding the lovely tunnel, uh, just because I can't stop at the toll booth. It's a bit difficult for me to take off like that. Um, so yeah, I was in third, now I'm in fourth. I'm gonna keep it in front throughout this entire hill. Uh, I was in fifth before. Uh, the car did struggle a bit because there were certain spots where I needed to drop down to 20 kph. But uh, luckily the car managed to pull in fifth even at 20 kph. Um, so yeah, it looks like I might actually make it home like this. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Let's see how this goes on. So this road I'm driving on now is the mountain road. Um, I guess if you want to skip the tolls, you can use this route. Uh, and this route is lovely in the daytime. There's a brilliant, brilliant view. You can even see that right now, actually. And the roads are so twisty and uh, relatively smooth. So it's actually really nice to come here in the day. In the night, I'll be honest, it's a little bit scary. That's why I'm just taking it quite easy. Um, but yeah, even at night, it's still so much fun. Just don't overdo it because you really don't want to fall off that cliff there. Um, so yeah, 45 k is left to go home. Let's hope I make it. Okay, so I made it out of the mountain roads and onto the freeway. This is like the last stretch. I'm 10 minutes away from home. Um, I think just a couple of robots or traffic lights, whatever you call them, um, left. But it's about 10 kilometers of freeway, so I'm fine with that. Just stay in top gear. So, managed to get it home. Um, yeah, this car is a bit of a beast. Uh, it kind of got a character now, the fact that it just didn't want to give up. I drove four hours with no clutch. Uh, and it wasn't just all freeway, it was the mountain road, so I had to drop gears and uh, change gears up and everything. So, yeah, a lot of respect but I also eat it at the same time because I mean, yeah, this is going to cost a lot to fix also. So yeah, that's the end of my road trip from Joburg to Cape Town. The car averaged 6.3 litres and it used 1,200 uh, in fuel over 1,400 k. so quite well for this car. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Two from Pa.